Culture Shock was formed uh, because, well, after I sold soda toys, I, I, I was kind of burnt out on action figures. I really didn't, you know, the, the action figures are very difficult to make, uh, very, very exhausting, a lot, of, a lot can go wrong, very expensive, they're a big commitment. Um, but Capcom came to me maybe a year after I sold Soda, um, saying, you know, we, we want you to be involved in Street Fighter again. And um, I turned them down again. Remember, I, I guess that's my history with Capcom. I always turn them down the first time. <laughs> um, not because I don't love them, I just, it's just, you know, I think about all the work that has to go into this. I'm like, oh gosh, I don't, I don't think I have it in me anymore. Anyway, a few months pass or whatever, and um, I, uh, I start sculpting. I hadn't sculpted in a while, and I started sculpting an Akuma for fun. This is true. I started sculpting an Akuma for fun. I love Akuma. He's such a great character to sculpt. He has so much energy and personality, and and um, and uh, Mark Mosman again. Here's Mark from Capcom. He he doesn't live too far from me, and he comes over and he's like, dude. You're already doing it. Why don't we just release this? I mean, let's let's you know do a statue of Akuma. And I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> I'm being whiny again. I don't want to work. And I'm like, oh gosh. I'm like, okay, you know what? All right, let's do it. And uh, sideshow uh, caught wind, uh, I believe, through Mark because Mark was doing other things with sideshow. And sideshow contacts me and says, hey, we'd be really interested in distributing. Uh, any Street Fighter statues you make. So suddenly now, my little fun side project of sculpting an Akuma becomes uh, a company, um, and that's how uh, that's how it all got started again. The original plan was to complete the Twelve World Warriors in in the three year uh, period. Well, I totally blew that. We obviously did not complete 12 World Warriors in three years. Um, uh, we started to mix in other characters like Cammy, who is, who is not part of the 12, but we still love her, you know, so we give her some space. Uh, Akuma obviously isn't part of the 12, um, and he was the first one. So, uh, you know, so the whole 12 World Warrior thing. It's a, it's the goal, and we're real close. I mean, it's it's going to happen next year. You know, we'll we'll have completed. There's only four four of them left, and two of them are already sculpted. So so we're we're good, and it's the, the dream is alive. We we have uh, Dalsum and Blanca uh, are both pretty close to finished. So, you know, the only two left are E Honda and Balrog, and then we'll have all 12 World Warriors done. But I don't want to just focus on that, so I like to, to spread them out. I like to put other characters in between as well. Um, so, so don't expect to see those four characters in a row. That's not going to happen. There's going to be some other characters sprinkled in between. Another one of my favorite characters, see, I, I like the obscure characters, is Alex from Street Fighter 3. Um, and, you know, ex expect to see an Alex at some point. Um, he's just a, he's a cool looking character. Um, I just, I like his vibe, I like everything about Alex. Um, and, and I think he's going to fit in really well with the rest of the statues. A few years ago, um, we wanted to continue the original Soda Street Fighter action figure line, but without the expense of making them real action figures. So what Capcom and I discussed doing is doing figures that match the style of the Soda figures, the size, everything about them would look like the Soda figures, but they would be little statues. They would be. They, they might. They might have been plastic. They might have been resin. We hadn't determined that yet. But they were going to be. Uh, they were going to look. They were going to be packaged just like the soda action figures. It's just that they weren't going to be fully articulated. So we sculpted uh, Oro, Alex, and DJ. Totally finished them. Finished, approved, all ready to go, and. Um, 
we uh, we couldn't get the interest uh, at retail for them, so they they just never happened. Um, so I still have those prototypes for Alex, Oro, and DJ. They may still show up at some point. You never you never know. You know I I'm an artist, so artists generally we we love our our work for a few months and then we look back and we don't like it anymore so I kind of feel that way about almost everything that we've done Street Fighter um, I still love the original Akuma um, but all the rest of them I have a love-hate relationship with however the new uh, Sagat statue um, I think maybe one of those ones where I look back two, three, four years from now and still love it. John Cleary sculpted it. I did some some work on it just to to make it match the style of Akuma a little bit more uh, since I sculpted Akuma. But John did you know 85% of it, and he did an amazing job. And it's it's. Uh, it's it's probably going to be the centerpiece of the Street Fighter statue collections. He's also you know over 20 inches tall. My background before I ever entered the world of toys is special effects, and in special effects we generally work in life size. Um, so we are currently working on uh, very close to being shown uh, or finished uh, full size uh, Ryu bust. Um, it'll have a, a cloth headband. Uh, and uh, the, the, the best part to me is that the eyes will be positionable. They'll be real acrylic eyes and the collector will be able to uh, position them to look any direction they want. We also do, you know, Street Fighter dioramas. The first one was uh, Ryu and, and Sagat. And uh, they're classic moments. They're not just haphazardly like, hey, it'd be cool if we put this popular character with this popular character. That's not how, how it's done. It's, they're classic moments from Street Fighter history, be it the game, uh, the anime, the Udon comic. It's, they're always classic moments. So, you know, <clears throat> we have one which is uh, Chun-Li versus Vega. And it's, it's inspired by uh, the anime. Um, where where uh, Chun where Vega comes in to assassinate Chun Li after she's in the shower, and uh, you know Chun Li kicks his ass, kicks his ass. Then we also have uh, Goken versus Akuma, and obviously that rivalry is is you know historical in, in Street Fighter canon. So um, you know that that was just one of those. Well, we have to do them fighting. Um, I'm totally open as to what the next one is. We haven't actually determined what it is, so you know, uh, we'd love to get fan input on on what rivalry they'd love to see as the uh, the fourth diorama.